Hi, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're going to learn about the Roland Cloud Connect Wireless Adapter WC1. So if we take a look, it's, it's a USB dongle that goes right into your synthesizer. Uh, we're going to be using the Roland Juno X for our examples today. Uh, but check this out. If I go ahead and pull it apart right here at the top, it's a little USB dongle. And there is a little power switch on it, a little red button that will actually turn it on once it is plugged in to your Juno X or your other Roland compatible keyboards. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this going and learn how to use this in a multitude of ways. So before I do anything, I need to go ahead and get the app. So let's go ahead and go to the App Store now. So as you can see inside the App Store, I went ahead and searched for Roland WC-1. All right, and that's gonna take me here and I'll go ahead and just click on it so you can see. It's a free app. And this is going to show us everything that's available for the WC1 app. And yes, we actually do need this app uh, to use the WC1 wireless adapter. And it is available for the following format. So make sure you go ahead and download it first thing before we get started. All right, so I'm going to begin by opening up the app. So as you can see, the app is currently opening up. And it's going to ask for an email and a password. Now, in order to use this, you will have to have a Roland Cloud membership. And it could be anything from the free ones up into the various paid ones that are available. So now I'm going to go ahead and log in to my Roland Cloud via the app now. Okay, as you can see, I am logged into the app, but currently at the top it says no connected device is found. So now is the time we're gonna plug in our WC1 inside our keyboard. So I'm gonna make sure and take it off, put that to the side, and let's plug it in. Now that the device is plugged in, I'll go ahead and press the little red button on top of it. So now that my Juno X is using the WC1 and it is communicating with the app, I can now go in here and look around at the tones that are available to me and this, this particular synthesizer that I'm using. So I can just go right here through uh, and just look in what's ever, and it will take note of what I have installed and is, that is not installed inside the particular synth that I'm using. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the sound packs that are available. Those, those are uh, available to all of us. So it just shows us a couple at the front. So I have the sound packs here. So I'm going to go to view all and take a look at all the sound packs that I have available. Now it's already noted. If you look, you can see the ones that I've already purchased, but then you can see the ones that are available per to purchase that I haven't purchased as of yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just let's look through some of these. So as I'm looking through these, you see a lot of, a lot of good sounds in here. I'm going to go ahead and look at some of these. And I can easily go in here. Let's go ahead and select Classic Groove. So once I'm inside, I get a lot of options available. And as you can see, I've already put a heart by our favorite. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But let's go ahead and let's just choose something. So I am just going to click on one of the sounds that's available to me. Uh, let's do this uh, bend up chord. So I'll click on that. It says, are you sure? Yeah, I am sure. Let's go ahead and OK. And let's give the synth a listen. Now, how do I know that that particular uh, tone is inside? So it's really easy. We'll just go ahead from the scene. We'll just hit model bank and automatically it's going to show us what's loaded up. So right here, it's showing the bend up chords. And if I choose something else, let's go ahead and choose this Bernie HU bass. Yeah, I'm sure. And I can turn that message off. So if I don't want to see that every time I can turn that off. But for the, our examples, I'll leave it on just so you can see it. Okay, great. And notice right away. Now, right now, it isn't saved inside the synthesizer. If I wanted to save it in here, I would have to go ahead and, and do a shift and write and save that particular tone. So it's just here temporarily. So if I go ahead and move to another tone or to another scene, it will blow it out. Let's go ahead and choose synth strings and pads. So I'll click on that. Okay. And I've seen a couple of things in here. Let's go ahead and go to Analog Dreams. Great. Press OK. And here it is, Analog Dreams.
Very quick and very easy. We loaded it up directly from the app to my Juno X via the WC1. Let's go ahead and check out another one, Dynamic Analog. And OK. And there it is. That quickly we were able to load it right in here. Let's go ahead and give this one a listen. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at another one. But before we really dig into it, let's look at what these dots mean inside the app. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go this lost memory. That's fine. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and press one of the dots that are here. And here we go. It's Look at this. I told you before we could go ahead and write it into here, but check this out. We can go ahead and add a heart if we wanted to add a like to it. So lost memory, just added a heart. If I press it again, I could say, let's write the tone directly to the device. So if, uh, so I can say, write it to the device. And it brings up this right here and it shows me the inside of my instrument, my user section. So I can decide where I want to put it. I can say, okay, let's go ahead and put these. Let's have a little bit of fun. I'm going to start these right around, let's hit 51. Just initialize tone. I went ahead and selected it. Let's take a look at both the app and also the screen of my Juno X. I'll press the right button. And it says, are you sure? Yeah, I am sure. Great. And now it is currently writing it to my synthesizer. Tone written successfully. Let's press close. Great, and now it is written inside here. So now if I go inside here and I look and I go to my users right here and we take a look. And remember, I put this one up. I'll go ahead and press the enter button so I can go inside. Uh, we look. There it is. Lost memory. I almost lost it myself. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at some more tones that are accessible using the WC1 and the Roland Cloud Connect app. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back in here into my sound packs, and let's take a look at some other ones. This is a great thing, you know, so at a gig, maybe you're at a gig and you're like, okay, what are the sounds that I, there's some sounds, and, or I just got a new update, but I didn't have time to go home, and I don't have the computer. This is where this is going to really come in. So uh, let's, I'm curious, what's this new sunset? So have that right there, 16 tones available to me. I can actually just go ahead and just start choosing tones, and look, at put it in there. I can see what tones make sense to me. And just trying them out. We're just going through. Notice I'm not even touching any of the synthesizer up here. Great. Let's try another one. Oh, that's a cool sound. So remember, if I like the sound, or I'm not sure if I want to load it as of yet, remember I can come in to the three dots right here, press that, and I can put a add a like right there. So, so I can go, once I'm back at home or in the studio, I can decide whether I do want to keep it, but maybe I just want to earmark it so I can go back and look. But if I did decide, yeah, I like that tone. And once again, I can get rid of this prompt that comes up. Uh, I don't have to have that on there. I just... I'm just having it for our examples. So uh, I'll go ahead and have this in here. All right, and I wanna go ahead and write the tone to the device, with the device being my synthesizer that's currently using the WC1. Once again, it's gonna look inside my user section of my keyboard. And remember, we started putting these, just for my own uh, taste, around the 50 mark. So I said, hey, let's put this one to 52. Yes, let's write it. And yes, I am sure. And it is currently right inside uh, right here. All right, so how do I find it? There it is there, but it's still in the temporary mode. Where did I put it? It's actually inside the user. And I can go ahead and spin the dial wheel. And I think I put it on 51 or 52. But remember, I can press the enter button and look inside here. And there it is, the cutter. Very quick and very easy, I can go ahead and take a look at that tone. All right, let me go ahead and close this. Let's back out. 
let's back out all the way and really take a look at everything in here. Okay, so as we see at the top here, we get the sound pack of the week, so we can kind of look at that. Maybe if we wanted to, we could listen to it and see how it sounds. And to see if it's something that we want to really uh, purchase, uh, go ahead, we can do that. We can see all the latest releases, what I have available for me. Uh, this is something that's real cool, the popular products that uh, a lot of people really enjoy, the different sound packs. But uh, model expansions, if they are available for your product, and it will know whether you have uh, purchased them or installed them on that particular product, maybe such as a Phantom or a Phantom O or the Jupiter X, Jupiter XM, or the Juno X. Let's go ahead and take a look at these other tabs here at the bottom. So we have the Home tab, is, and that's where we are at. Let's go to the Search area. Now, this is a really... Uh, cool area we can search by the tone name we can search by the bank or we can search by let's look by the tags I just pressed the tag button right here okay so I have everything selected right here so I'm gonna go ahead and go by ambient sounds I'm gonna hit a tag and I want to see all right what can we get I want to go ahead and see maybe some ambient sounds so I have this here and it brings up all of the sounds that are available to me uh, in the ambient sounds let's go ahead and hear uh what is this cat voice yeah let's go ahead and load that load it up into my synth that's kind of a cool sound so uh we have that one in there and we could go ahead and decide whether if it's something that we wanted to keep or install later uh, that's cool and I can go ahead and make sure hit the little dots and maybe add a like to it so I can go ahead and check let me make sure there it is little like uh, to it let's go ahead and hit something else let's go to an ensemble sound what do we have available in the ensemble sounds uh, let's go ahead some synth strings yep let's load it maybe I'll drop it an octave let's see I like that sound. So from here, I can go in and say I can write it here, or I could go ahead and probably write it easier directly from the app here. So what was that? The synth strings 1W, that's this guy. I'll go ahead and hit the three dots. I'm going to go ahead and add that like uh, just to make sure it has it, but I am going to go also and write it to the device. Remember, once again, we are going directly into my user area. So I've been putting mine in the, the 50. That's just uh, me. You don't have to do that. You can do it in any spot. And initialize tone, to, uh, number 53, and I'm going to write it. Great. And it's writing it directly to my device. This is, is so easy to do once you have everything set up. And it is written so successfully. And let's go ahead and close. So there we go. Uh, now let's see. I Now I, I've been kind of uh, making some different uh, with the tags. I, let's go with one more. Let's go ahead and do maybe some kind of solo sound. Great. I have a nice solo sound in here. Uh, let's see what we have together. Lots of different sounds. You see, I'm just just only, only scratching the surface. That's a great thing. Once you get into this, you can really have a, a good time with this. All right. Let's see here. Uh, let's go to uh, this R&B. Oh, this is muffled bass. Yeah, let's load this in here temporarily. And I have an octave uh, down, so I'll put it back in regular octave. Let's go ahead and put that octave. Great. If I like it or don't like it, I can go ahead and bring it in here. Uh, let's go ahead and muffle bass. I'm going to put a heart. Now, let's see what happens now. I've been putting these hearts all by, uh, by these sounds. What happens if I press the heart button? I can kind of see all the different sounds that are available. And I, I there we go. I'll take off all those. Here's all the ones I've put the hearts to so I can find them. And so that way, if I'm just going through different items, I can say, oh, I liked these when I was checking this out. Now I can determine if I want to write them to this particular uh, Roland synthesizer or maybe another Roland uh, Zen Core compatible synthesizer. That's That makes it a lot of fun. We can go in there. So that was inside the search area. We can have a lot of fun with that. Let me go ahead and take that off. And uh, we can really have a, just a really fun time with this. And 
There we go, all the rolling cloud. And look at this. I just noticed this also. Inside the rolling cloud, we have all uh, 5,927 sounds available. So uh, access to literally thousands of sounds, and, I'm sh and more are coming. So that's, that's very exciting. Uh, let's go to Connect. Now, in this connect area, this is where we will see what the WC1 is actually connected to. In my example, I am using a Juno X, so I can see it's showing me the icon of the Juno X. It's showing me a version that's available. It let's me know that, yes, it is indeed online, and if I needed to, I could do a device setup. Also notice it says there is an update for the WC1, so let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to press that right there. And it says, yes, do you want to update? Yes, I do. You should always make sure you're updated. Notice my adapter is being updated directly from, uh, inside the keyboard. And uh, we're waiting for it to execute. Everybody's talking. Everybody's working. It is complete. Okay, that's great. And there we go. So they are set up. So it's just been updated. So now I'll say, all right, let's connect you guys. Make sure you connect, and they are connected again, once again. After I did that update, I did have to press the connect button, but it wasn't a big deal. So this is this is good. So this is a good one for you to know. Let's hit the cog up here to the right. Let's us know everything's going on. Hit three arrows. Let's us know all of this stuff. So this is a great uh, thing. So once again, this is very easy to do. All I did was I uh, took got the box out, took out the WC-1, which is currently connected to my Juno X, plugged it in, made sure I had the app on whatever device that you need to have it on, be it an iPad, an iPhone, or other uh, devices, and then I just pressed a little red button that was on top of the device so that way it can start uh, transmitting its signal to the, the app and just linked them up. And if I wasn't sure, once again, I could go over to the connect area and make sure they're speaking to each other. All right, so this was just a quick look at the WC1 and how to use it. I hope this video helps you. Stay tuned as we have more videos coming very soon. All right, my name is Ed Diaz. You guys take care and we'll talk to you later.